Hello, my name is Ifanaya and I'm an Igbo learner just like you from the Audrey Abiala and Igbo podcast brand. And I'm here with one of our rock star guest teachers and also a member of our team, Uchenna. Together, we are bringing you a crash course in the Igbo alphabet, telling you what you need to know as a learner. So this will be the first of three videos discussing different aspects of the alphabet. In the first video, we will focus on the vowels. The objectives are why vowels matter, vowel classes, vowel harmony, semi-vowels, and Igbo tones. Without further ado, let us all welcome Uchenna. Uchenna, no. If I am there, well, no, no. So the Igbo alphabet, which can be referred to as Mbure Demede, which translates to the seed of writing or Mburoku, the seeds of speech, or just simply Abede, consists of 36 letters in total. There are eight vowels, two semivowels, 19 consonants, and nine digraphs. Let's take a deeper look into the vowels now. The vowels are known as Oda, Ume. Oda, meaning sound, and Ume, meaning breath. A, E, I, E, O, O, U, O. So vowels are one of the most important parts of the Igbo alphabet to learn as vowels bear tones and the Igbo language is a very tonal language. So this can greatly impacts the meaning of words or phrases. As a learner, mastering the vowel sounds and what is known as vowel harmony will greatly help you in pronouncing words in Igbo correctly, as well as selecting the proper pronouns, verbs, adverbs, and the like when creating your Igbo sentences. So just as another review of the vowels, we have a, e, 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 O, A, U, O. So these vowels are categorized as either being light vowels, known as udamfe, or heavy vowels, known as udaro. Let's take a look at the udamfe group. This can also be seen as the A group, so the A group. Here you have a, e, a, o. So a, we can say, makes a familiar sound as we hear it in English. So think, for instance, when you're at your dentist and the dentist tells you to open up wide and you say, a, a. So it's a little different from just an a sound as we're taught in English, but it's more of that ah uh, sound. Eh, it doesn't really, <laughs> it's English equivalent is questionable, but I like to think it can be looked at as the sound that you hear in igloo. So eh, glue. <laughs> <laughs> and if Nanya, I can add that to me, it also sounds like the e eh in ink. Oh, that makes sense. Ink. I like, I like. <laughs> so for aw, I think that this is also a pretty familiar sound. Like when you're saying aw, this is so cute. That aw sound or awesome. And so with the last sound in our A group or our Damfe group is aw. And to be frank, <laughs> I don't have an English equivalent. But this sound is Oh. So moving on to our udaro or heavy vowels, which we can also just call as the E group, we have e, e, o, 
So one thing I want to point out to you all is that the E as we know it in English is known in Igbo as the E, so similar to what we see in elephant. The I, as we would say it in English, is actually E, so it's not to get confused with the English E and the Igbo E. So that E makes that elongated E sound. The O makes a very hard O, like what you hear in over. And that O makes a sound like what we hear in uber. Yes, Ifanaya, thank you for that. And now we can move into vowel harmony. Vowel harmony means that typically in the word, only vowels from the same class of vowels are used together to make up that word. There are some exceptions to this where a word may have a mix of light and heavy vowels. And these exceptions are further explained in episode 5 of the podcast. <laughs> 